Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial session. Today I'm going to teach you how to install Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on each domain on your server using CentOS web panel. So everyone know about that there is a, a web panel called uh, CentOS web panel CWP it's an open source and free so control panel for the managing entire domain and complete server so first of all the thing is that uh, when you want to buy a uh, SSL the thing is that you have to uh, have a dedicated IP and additionally you have to buy SSL certificate that will cost more for an end user so currently the let's encrypt has launched the ssl certificate to install on entire domain subdomain now the thing is that when you open your centrist web panel this is the latest updated version of the CentOS web panel so you can just go to the you can see here on the left hand side you will be having something called lent script manager so what we need to do uh, click on lent script manager you can see here the lent let's encrypt manager is not installed so we need to install on the domain whatever you want before that we need to install let script let's encrypt manager so just you can click on install let's encrypt it will take some seconds to get installed on the server so you have to wait for some time you can see after certain time now the let's encrypt has been installed on your server but you can see here the let's encrypt certificate need to be auto renewed and this let's encrypt will be valid for first 90 days and before expiring 30 days it will get auto renewed so before that uh, now you want to configure the ssl on any domain once you install it's automatically the auto renew status will be installed so just go ahead and install the let's encrypt so you can see that we have a domain you can there is several options like install let's encrypt on account or main domain as you know that you have to create an account uh, when you are going to give to any customer you already want to install onto the particular directory you can mention over here directory and you can install it so I'll go ahead and process there is domain I'm going to install SSL you can see here just you select the which domain or which account you want to install then leave the email id it will you want you can change it or you uh, leave as default the next is the ip do not add any ip address over here just leave it empty by default now the next you can see there there is a checkbox need to be selected and it says that you want a triple w analysis or subdomain so example is the triple w your domain dot com or it will get installed on with the triple w so the thing is that i'll go ahead just select the checkbox and click on install
watch the process is going on to install the let's encrypt SSL cannot so you can see that is still the installation process is continued you have to wait until it's not get installed so you can see the uh, company let's encrypt it's completely it's a new certificate authority and it's giving completely free automated on it's open to get any certificate you can if you have any query you can visit let's encrypt.org now you can see there uh, there is some issue that when we install we are getting that let's encrypt installation failed you can see there there are a lot of error while installing the packages so you'll be getting the you can see here it's failed to get installed so so what you are going to do if uh, it is not getting installed So we have seen there there is a error while installing the uh, let's encrypt so what we'll do uh, we'll log into the uh, root server and uh, you can uh, just change the required uh, things so first we'll go in. So we'll run the command to update the uh, open SSL yum update. As you can see there there is nothing need to be updated. So you can see here uh, after the update of open SSL, you can see there down uh, the domain has been configured with the SSL you can see here if you want you can test the you can click on test it will take you to the open SSL phase where it will check that yes SSL has been installed or not you can see that it has been installed successfully even you can open the website and you can take a look that SSL has been configured or not so you can see there just wait a moment you can see here uh, the SSL has been we have installed over here